Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk skincare for black skin. Actually, we talk about skincare for black skin. I just say that but I don't want a very long intro because today we're not talking about skincare for black skin. We're talking about business. Business. <laughs> I just shot a Q&A, so you will see me wearing this top. I don't know which one will go on first, this one or that video, but you see me wearing this top in one other video like that, Sham. That's a very brief chat about something I saw on Instagram. I saw one business guru advising you people to fake it until you make it. On your bio, put what you want. Business expert, next thing. Ah, I said, I saw people in the comment section, yes, do it. I'm telling you now. I said going to each and uh, each of their Instagram pages. I said hair care experts, food experts, nutrition experts. I'm like, wait, see. The thing about business is that there's no one way to achieve anything. So I'm sure that there are people that have built bigger businesses than I have and I will ever build and have followed this route. It's okay. It's okay. But you know, this is my platform and I will give my opinion on how I see things. I think that mentality is just bullshit. Don't fake anything till you make anything. Let's normalize transparency. You have a lot more to gain than lose if you are just transparent. Nobody was born an expert. You know that, right? Like, experts became experts out of experience and learning. If you want to be an expert in something, then start walking towards it. If you haven't attained that expertise level yet, but you know some things around that topic, be transparent as to what you know, the extent of knowledge you have. Because I don't I don't understand what's the point. Like even even makes you claiming that you're an expert put you in a position where you are able to make mistakes. You, like when I said my skincare, my skin, I want to say skincare journey, my, my, yes, my skincare journey towards being an expert, I was very, very, very clear. I had nothing, I had no knowledge about skincare whatsoever. This was just two years ago. No knowledge, I didn't know anything, nothing. People, people were just bombarding me with skincare questions and just made me start reading and reading and reading. I was very transparent about it. You know, I read up stuff, come and say, even now, so even after being an esthetician, I, I'm still very open to the fact that I'm still learning. I read every single day. Every day I must read something. I'm still acquiring information. I'm reaching out to people that I know that are more advanced than I am and asking them for mentorship. I'm asking to pay some of them. I'm acquiring knowledge. This is my type of acquiring knowledge so that I can be that person I want to be in the future. I want a, a time to get to the point where every question I am asked, I know the answer and I know the correct answer as it relates to skin. I'm going to get that. You get that out of acquiring knowledge. You don't get it by just becoming an expert. And being transparent, it will shock you. It shocked me. It will shock you how much people will trust you regardless, honestly speaking. Like you don't you don't need to start faking or making it has honestly it just creates room for for failure. Let me let me give you an example because I always think I'm not I'm not a motivational speaker. I can't even motivate myself yet. How <laughs> much more you? But I give you ex stories with my own experience because I am in it. I'm a small business owner as well. I'm struggling. I'm trying to build something. So I experience this thing on a day to day basis. This is not a case of ah leave there. That's how they now blow. Not my view. Not aspire to perspire. I'm not aspiring or perspiring you. I am telling you what I personally go through. So when I said skincare, I was very open and right now, when I watch some of my videos that I made two years ago, you know most of them people react to old videos, they react to videos that they make like 10 years ago. No, 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 me. When I react to the one I made two years ago, what well, hell? When I react to some videos I made last year, I'm like, what? What were you saying? What the hell? But you see, I was very open to the fact that I was not an expert. Imagine if an expert was really a real, a real skincare guru was watching what I was saying. Imagine what the person would have been thinking. What kind of what, what nonsense is this now? As opposed to you being open. Like I also have one friend as well that he wants to start making videos on business, and he was he put business expert or something on his bio. Me, I don't used to give advice. They did not ask me. He did not ask me for advice that time. So I'm not saying I kept quiet. We now got talking one day and he said that I was asking him ah, why are you not putting up your business content and I was like I'm okay. I'm afraid though because sometimes when I say things I wonder if I even know what I'm saying I'm afraid that people that are really knowledgeable about business will now start 
poking holes in it. And I told him, see, your major problem is that you have put expert on your bio. It's limiting you. You're not convincing yourself. As opposed to just putting the fact that you're a small business person trying to, you know, navigate this business terrain. Putting your ideas out there, learning things and unlearning things, it gives you freedom. You can make mistakes in peace. Nobody's on your neck. Just, and when you get to the status of being an expert, nobody with, as in, it's not you that will play yourself. People will crown you expert yourself. So, I don't really believe in faking anything to you, making it, you're just deceiving the public. And that thing again is that people come to you believing that they're coming to an expert, they will not cut you any slack. <laughs> they will not like when they, and by when please come to me to help them with their routines, I'll tell you I'm not an expert. Though. Should I help? You say help, okay. This is what I advise. If it is not work like that, you're not come and hold me. I told you I'm not an expert. What did you expect? I understand that the mentality is that people only respect expert and stuff. It is not true in Nigeria. People have so much trust in me as it relates to skincare. Even people that don't buy from the store, they just want to hear what I have to say, and I've said it several times. I'm not an expert. When that become an institution, just how many months ago? But even before that, people, do you know it's that bad that people will go and see the dermatologist and come to me and tell me no, they want to hear it from my mouth. It's me that I'm not telling them no, no, I'm not an expert. They no, no, no. Just be open. Essentially, please stop this speaking something to you. Make it. Let's let's normalize transparency. And transparency does not mean bringing camera to your private life if you want to keep your private life private keep it private i'm trying to say that if you have decided to be known for a particular topic try and be truthful as to your journey as relates to that topic that's this thing to make it i think i think I, I just think it's not the right route to take but this is my personal personal opinion please leave business questions in the comment section and let me know things that you want me to address if you want to know my talk on certain things that relates to business please let me know and thank you so much for watching and hey! i just realized that some of you may not know what i the business i do so i am the founder of a company called tika4 and in tika4 we do three things and the foundation of everything is that we help black people achieve healthier skin using products that are safe and effective rather we help people of color achieve healthier skin using products that are safe and effective and we do this in three ways the first one is we make dermatologists and skincare specialists that are specialized in treating black skin accessible to people so you can you know we partner with a lot of dermatologists specialists and all of those things if you want to book virtual consultations with them you can book this service through us so that's one the second thing is we make we're making products accessible to people as well we have an e-commerce site where we retail like different products from different brands especially if you're in nigeria make these products accessible to you that's second second expression of our company the third one is we ensure that adequate you know accurate skincare information is accessible to you and that's what we're doing on our social media platforms on instagram on tiktok on youtube here that is one of the major reasons why i went to this school honestly speaking so that i can know i was eager i was so eager to get accurate information so that i can be better equipped to give it back to you if you need my advice in business and stuff or you want me to just talk on you know things around business Please leave your questions or video ideas that you like me to, to do. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.